Hey Glam Fam, Lynn Wood here and today I'm going to be talking to you guys all about Diva Curl and giving you a full review of their line. Now before we start, if you're not subscribed, you can trust me, subscribe. Why haven't you pushed the button? Come on now. If you have subscribed and you're watching a video again, welcome back boo, you know I love you. After my last video where I literally raved about another product line, it's the Giovanni's Too Chic Ultra, Ultra Moist line. After I raved about that, several people asked me about the Diva Curl and my thoughts on it and I was like, I don't know. So what I did is I decided to go ahead and try it out and I found at my local distributor they had a box which was an excellent trial kit. I don't remember how much I paid for it but it had the No Poo, the Decadence Conditioner which I've got the Decadence line. It's supposed to be for uh, parched hair because I just feel like you can't be playing around with moisture in these curls. Like, we don't do that. Like, y'all sit up and want to talk about this good hair, which, trust me, I'll do a whole nother video about that because I can't stand the term good hair. But, nonetheless, um, yes, yeah, so, this hair needs tons of moisture. Otherwise, it will be busted, ratchet, and ragged. It came with this, what's it called? Super cream? Super, super cream? I think it is called super cream. She's a super cream, super cream. She's super creepy. Yeah, oh no, she's not creepy. She's creamy. <laughs> then I also heard rave reviews about the Wash Day Wonder, which is supposed to be great for detangling, so I decided to just try them all out. Now, just so you guys know, I've been using them now for about two and a half weeks, and um, no one else in the house has used them. This is going to be a slightly partial review, I'm gonna say, and I'll, I'll get down into that. So in this review, I'm gonna be giving you the good, the bad, and the things that make you go, mm-hmm. This one here, the Decadence, is for more coily textures or textures that are more prone to dryness. So they have a standard line, they've got a lightweight line, and they have the decadence line. So if your hair is typically in need of a lot of moisture, uh, or if you have a more coily pattern of hair, you'll find that the decadence is the line that you want a bit more. They're no poo, which just like it says, it doesn't poo. It doesn't smell like poo either. Um, it comes in, the, I like the packaging. The smell isn't bad, it's not like fruity or anything like that, but it's not amazing either, but it's not bad. But their no poo is their cleanser and it does not lather at all. And so I will say, if you're one of those where you feel like you've gotta have a lather in there, or if you're not a huge fan of co-washing uh, as a regular cleanser, I don't know that you would like this, but they do have another one that's called low poo, which I haven't tried. So it may be worth it. It has a very gentle lather from what I've seen, but I haven't tried that one myself, so I can't give you any like actual genuine thoughts on that. But if you need a lather or you would like a lather, they do have an option for that. Then they have the Decadence one, which this is a really rich conditioner. I will say my hair absolutely loved it. Honestly, my hair liked all of these products. The Wash Day Wonder worked uh, pretty well on my hair in terms of detangling the hair prior to, so no complaints really about that. Well, I've got complaints, but we'll save those. Um, and then I tried the Build Up Buster just to kind of see, because I was having some issues with my scalp after utilizing the line, and I was like, you know what, nothing has sulfates. It's, but you're basically co-washing your hair, so it's not really an actual cleanser. So I was like, let me go ahead and try out the Build Up Buster and see if it helps out with the flaking. And I went ahead and gave it a shot. It doesn't lather either. It's supposed to be a micellar water solution, so something to keep in mind there no lather on any of these and then there was the super cream super cream she's super cream me yeah I'm telling you, my camera's probably so mad at me for that whole sequence. This one here is a curl defining lotion. It does leave my hair ultra defined, and I will tell you guys, my curls have been very soft with this. They've been shiny. I've gotten tons of compliments, so many compliments. It's been lovely. However, comma, uh, there are a couple things that I kind of had a concern about in terms of using this product. I went ahead and decided to start off with the Wash Day Wonder, which is basically like a pre-poo. So it's a conditioner that you put on to help detangle your hair before you shampoo it or no poo it, whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called, it's confusing. At any rate, so they've got the Wash Day Wonder. So basically you, sh you wet, oh, Jesus, you wet your hair and then you put this in there and you work the tangles out. So this is supposed to get a slip and help detangle the hair, get the loose hair out, things like that. And then from there, you go into, which you don't have to use the Wash Day Wonder, it's primarily for people who have a lot of hair or who are prone to tangling and matting, things like that. Uh, then they have the No Poo, which I went ahead and used, and I will say, for me, uh, it felt like just a standard conditioner, and my hair didn't feel like clean, but it didn't feel dirty, 
but I also don't use a ton of products on my hair right now, so I don't really have a reason why I would have buildup. So yeah, um, so basically I put a conditioner in to rinse a conditioner out, to put a conditioner in, to rinse a conditioner out, to put the conditioner in. So long story short, just buy the conditioner. Like I don't understand why we got all these products. I really don't know what the difference is between these two here. Let me see if there's a difference in ingredients. Stand by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's glycerin in the conditioner. Okay, so the conditioner has glycerin in it, which could explain for a bit more definition, whereas there's no glycerin in this one. There are some slight differences in terms of ingredients. Now, there are some things you need to look out for if you're considering trying out this line. If you're one of those people where coconut oil does not get along with your hair, then you may not like this line because all of these products have coconut oil in them. So that's something to be concerned with. I did have a personal issue with this product as well and I wanna go ahead and frame it as that because it was my issue and I'm not gonna say that it was something that happened with everyone else but it is the reason why I'm the only one in the house that's used it thus far because usually I try to try things on myself, on Allison and also on the kids if I'm satisfied with it. And in this instance, my skin does not agree with it. Look at this, look at this. Do you see these flakes? My hair has, well not my hair, my scalp has been flaking like crazy since I started using this, even after I used the Build Up Buster to try to help out with that. So, uh, being that Allison and Dan both have severe eczema, I just didn't want to risk putting them through that process. To me, if you have a sensitive scalp or if you already have issues with flaking on the scalp, I don't know if this is going to exaggerate it or not. I'm not gonna say this is gonna happen for everybody, but it did happen for me. So just so you're informed, please don't hop on one of those bandwagons talking about how all of YouTube is trying to cancel it now because honestly, my hair loved it, my scalp didn't. And without further ado, that leads me right into today's sponsor for this video, which is Quaker Quick Grits. Instant Grits? Quaker Instant Grits. Why? Because clearly it's up on my scalp. Like, look at this. What the Hello Kitty? Like, I wanna love this line. And honestly, it's a really good line of products. My hair loves it. It has been drinking up the moisture, but my scalp does not agree with it. My scalp wants a divorce. My scalp is that friend that's like, why you even marry him? He ain't even cute. Oh my god. Oh, like what he even do? He ain't even holding on no job. Is he even cleaning? Like what is he doing? Like oh my gosh. What? How good is it that you got to have him when you can clearly see you got all these options? My scalp is that friend right now, and I'm gonna have to keep that friend happy because I'm tired of hearing my scalp nag at me. Like look at this. This is without scratching. Look, this is with scratching. Do you guys see this? Look at this. This is what I'm dealing with right now. My scalp, I'm prone to dryness, but this, this is freaking Quaker oats. This is oatmeal, this is cream of wheat, this is malta meal, this is grits, this is rice. This, I, I don't know what else could be up here. This is quinoa, like, what is this? But outside of that, I really do like the line. So, if you don't have a sensitive scalp like I do, which I do have a very sensitive scalp, I cannot use some of everything. Like for instance, I love Nairobi's foaming wrap. I can't use my foam wrap. <laughs> I can't use Nairobi's foaming wrap though because it sets my scalp on fire. You talking about setting fire to the rain? Setting fire to my scalp. How about that, Adele? So I set fire to your scalp. Watch it burn and you rinse it off. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video now so I can go and scrub the Hello Kitty out of my scalp because I feel like I've been playing in a litter box or a sandbox or an oatmeal box or a grits, but I don't know what I've been playing in, but it's up in my weave. By the way, no, this video is not actually sponsored by Quaker Quick Grits. Instant grits? Instant grits. But Quaker, if you want to reach out for a sponsorship, I mean, I'm trying to support my family. So any company, you want to sponsor a video, let's see. Let's let's go ahead and make some things happen. I can I can make some sponsorships go on. Like, what? This is going to be sponsored by Apple. You know they're going. It's sponsored by Apple. What you want to make happen? Anyway, you guys, until next time, take care. God bless. Stay glam. And you know I love you, boo. And if you haven't subscribed by now, like, what are you doing subscribing? Don't forget to check out those videos right over there because there's some good videos. The subscribe button's down there, too. Bye, you guys. Love you.